Hello and welcome to the introduction to Blurb Notebooks. When you open Blurb BookWrite software, on the left you're going to see a new tab that says New Notebooks. And when I click on that, it brings me to my first page of options, which are notebook templates. And I just want you to notice the diversity of the Blurb offering. You have a lot of choices. So we've got line templates, college ruled, narrow ruled, and wide ruled. You've also got grid, both solid and dotted, and you've got blank pages. Just for the sake of this test, I'm going to use college ruled. And when I click that, it brings me to my second page of options, which is really about book size. And again, you've got choices, 5x8, 6x9, and 8x10. For the sake of the test, I'll do 6x9. I'm going to label this as a test book, and I'm going to save it to my desktop. And as I save this, it's building this notebook document in Blurb BookWrite. So when it opens, I've got my cover tab over here on the left, and you'll see you have lots of options for your covers. You can do hardcover dust jacket, hardcover image wrap, soft cover, etc. And then I've got my pages document, and as you'll see, we chose lined pages, and so all of these pages are lined. But let's say that the first page in the book, for whatever reason, I don't want it to be lined. I want a different look. All I've got to do is go up to my notebook options, choose the look I want, and drag it into the spread below. And boom, it changes as simple as that. Now, a technique to keep in mind when you're building a notebook is to leave blank pages at the back. You may be in the field making pictures, and let's say that you're not journaling specifically. Maybe you just need to make some sketches or some illustrations. This is a good way to do that. So let's say I select page 52, and then I scroll down to page 71, and I select all these pages. To make those blank pages, all I need to do is go up here to my options, find the blank page option, and left click. And as simple as that, I've now got blank pages towards the end of the book. The other thing I want you to keep in mind is that even though you're building a notebook, you can treat it in many ways like any other blurb offering, including photo books. So let's say that I go up here to my draw tool and I draw a photograph and then I go to my photos tab and I import photographs. I'll take a couple from my desktop here. I let those import. I can drag and drop these into the document like I would any other book offering. And what I've got now is an illustrated notebook. And I think this really helps you enhance the notebook. It makes it more creative, more artistic, and it's an easy technique uh, to do. The last thing that I would have to do if I was ready to upload this book would be just to design my cover. So let's say that I want to run an image across the cover here and I've got my favorite image picked out that I want to be on the cover. Now seeing as we are designing a notebook, I'm going to add one little thing here which is a text box and I'm going to click inside that text box and I'm going to write notes. And then I'm going to make this a little bit larger. Maybe I'll choose a different typeface and I am going to maybe position that a little differently. And there we go. I'm ready to upload. I've got an illustrated notebook ready to go. That is the introduction to Blurb Notebook. Good luck and happy bookmaking.